Hey guys, so I wanted to see if it really works. I want to see if lacquer thinner really works on a check engine light uh, triggered by the Cadillac converter. Mine is especially a case for this because I had dirty gasoline which had water in it. It was in one of my videos. Uh, that triggered the check engine light. Obviously it was burning dirty. Might have clogged it or whatever. It's not running efficient inefficient it's about 87 right now so uh, I reset it with this and it comes on every 25 miles so I am gonna put right now a gallon full of thinner I'm at a half a tank exactly like they said uh, he said about 10 gallons so I have a little bit about that much so let's see if it really works I'm gonna put it right now so I bought this for about $20. This is exactly a gallon, and I'm gonna pour it all. I'm gonna put this camera down. Uh, this funnel was cleaned. I normally use it for oil, but I cleaned it before I did this. So, that is all of it. Every drop. So, let's really find out if it really works. That's $20 test for there, right there. I'm gonna take this for 25 miles. And see if it really works. So, if the light comes on after 20, uh, at 25 miles, that means the check engine light was not fixed. So I'm gonna run it like he said at 2500 RPM. And I'm on the highway right now. So that's going to maintain uh, 2,500 RPM for at least a half an hour. I'm going to do it for an hour. I'm actually going to run it to empty. So that's going to be more than a half an hour. Um, it seems like it's running a normal. Running good. I don't see anything different. I have 260,000 miles, 261,000 miles on this thing. Uh, the check engine light came on right after the water problem in my gas tank. And uh, the problem was I was trying to fix it with the, uh, with the alcohol bull crap. I put about four quarts in there and it did nothing. Just the only thing that ruined my... Uh, Put my check engine light on and I have oh hey guys so I put 14 miles on it and look what happens the check engine light comes on it used to come on every 25 miles uh, this is after the lacquer thinner I don't think it made it any better um, I'm gonna put more miles and see what happens if it comes off or not uh, it might be burning it it might I don't know what it's doing inside but it Looks like it tripped the uh, check engine light sooner than than I was hoping. So I have tried this experiment and how it went down was the first 100 miles it got worse. It got uh, every 14 miles the uh, check engine light would come on and now it's back to uh, where it originally was which was 25 miles every 25 miles the check engine light would come back on. I put about 443 miles. I will reset it to show you that the engine light will come on and I will take the check engine light off. That uh, trip B is uh, reset. 
Okay, uh, that's the codes I'm getting. Uh, P0420, Cadillac load, 82%. I'm going to erase this. Erase one moment. Uh, was successful. Okay. All right. So it er it is erased, and I will ride this car until the check engine light. And I do think it's about twenty four point nine or something, and it comes on. All right. So I put twenty five miles in already. I don't see the light on. I'll wait and see when it comes on, and I will record it. Here we go. Check engine light came on at 26. It was coming at 24. I don't think that's an improvement. Two miles or a mile. But uh, this did not improve anything. I mean, it's still the check engine light is on. So it made it worse and it got back to almost where it was. So I threw $20 down the drain. And I could put that towards a new Cadillac converter. I would like to also try the other method, taking it out, washing it with soap, and then putting it back on. But as far as this, it's a waste of money. And we know that this is not going to work.